Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some huge news, right? We got 4099s, two new LTDs, Team Masters coming tomorrow, Rivals coming tomorrow, Rivals completion with free 97 overall fantasy pack from multiple different programs, guys. Super big day, super exciting stuff. Definitely excited to go through everything, guys. There's so much. There's honestly so much stuff, and I'm super excited to show it to all you guys. To show to show everything to you guys, right? Because there's a lot of stuff to go over here. Now, here's the thing. We I did not. There were some there were some suspicions that we'd be getting it tomorrow, guys. Oh, and we have golden ticket release date, right? So before we get into the video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the noni bell, give the video a big thumbs up as always, guys. If you haven't already. Comment down below, and if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for five percent off your order. Moving on, golden tickets. They have reached out to most of them, you know, pertaining to the rules and kind of all that stuff that they need to know. But we will be getting golden tickets. Like our first golden ticket drop will be the thirtieth, so April thirtieth. Book it, guys. Fifteen days from today. Now here's the thing. That's just one drop. Will there be developer golden tickets? Kralos said he believes there will be, but they're gonna get focused on getting the user ones first. So. More, more or less, guys, the first drop will probably be three golden tickets, two user, one developer. We know the deal with this already, right? So that'll be April 30th, 15 days from today is our first drop. At that point, guys, it's going to go crazy. Man, it's going to go crazy from that point on. It's going to be, everyone's going to be God, God squads, right? God cards. Moving on. That's GTs, right? So now we have Rivals. If you guys know what Rivals is, it's a solo sequence we've had all year. Um, gave some decent cards, but the completion is actually really cool. But let's head over to screenshots, guys, and show you guys all the stuff we have coming on tomorrow. Yeah, so Rivals Finals, the time has come to settle the debate. Complete these challenges to prove once and for all who is the best. So the Rivals, dropping dimes. In 2004, Big Ben threw for more than 4,000 yards and two touchdowns. Ben has challenged you to do better. So that's just the first one, guys. You're going to play through all of them. Go down to Ultimate Rivals. You know, could probably some full games, as you can see here. First quarter, three minutes. Just get it done. Two o'clock. It's worth the reward. Rivals completions. You're going to put in the Series 1 token, the Series 2 token. Then you're going to put in the final tokens you get from finishing the recent stuff we're doing now. And then you're going to go ahead and put them all in, guys. Return to Rivals throughout the year to take on new Invitational Challenges. Earn every star in each Rivals Invitational throughout the year to earn 7 completion tokens. Make sure you're getting all the stars, guys. And for uh, any special reward. So, make sure you get this done, guys. There's gonna be a, this is the set right here. Guys, now this pack is actually super cool. It's a super good pack, guys. A lot of stuff to go over here. Fantasy pack is a 97 overall fantasy pack. Not these players, though. It's one player from like each specific thing. So, like, we have like an LTD, LTD, uh, LTD Redux. We have one uh, Mud Hero. We have an LTD Redux as well. We have an Ultimate Legend. More Mud Heroes, more Mud Heroes, another Ultimate Legend, and then a Redux Ultimate Legend, guys. So pretty much, you're going to be able to go ahead and get one of these players for free. So there's plenty of them. So you know, there's gonna be like, from what I see here, there's like two Mud Heroes. There's some Reduxes. There's some. It's pretty much a few LTDs, some Mud Heroes, and some Ultimate Legends, right? So that's pretty cool. And they're all 97. So again, everyone's gonna be different. For the most part, it should be randomized. So like. You can get Brian Dawkins in that spot, or, you know, maybe he's not 97, right? You can get, like, Ronnie Lott. Anyone that's in that 97 spot, you're going to be able to go ahead and get, as well as some Mud Heroes. Now, more than likely, the best of the options are probably going to be the Ultimate Legends, but if all the Ultimate Legends suck, you can always go ahead and get these. Now, I don't think the Ultimate Legend Dan Marino is actually guaranteed. I think it's just a Redux. I think you're guaranteed 97 overall Redux in the spot. This uh, specific pack just happens to give them all Ultimate Legends, right? So there's a lot of potential for this pack. It's a very fun pack, but it does take a lot of commitment, guys, because if you haven't played your Rivals, or you haven't completed them to max stars you're gonna have to do that actually to go ahead and get this so make sure you're getting that done Next, guys we have team masters like i told you guys coming tomorrow so i'm not sure if they drop them all at once or if they're gonna drop them in bunches guys but 99 overall joe burrow so we're getting 99 overall team masters which is pretty crazy because i did not expect to get 99 overalls i thought they'd be 97s i thought they'd be 98 we're getting 99 so 99 onslaught is coming guys and we got 99 joe burrow let's go let's check out the stats first off gold 99 super cool 89 speed Nope, no, uh, no power, but 97 throw power, 99 throw short, 96 throw uh, medium accuracy, 98 throw deep, 97 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, 95 play action. Now, if he had it, guys, if he had a power, this would be one of the best quarterbacks in the game because he would have 99 throw power, 99 short, 99 medium, 99 deep, 99 throw under pressure, and he'd have like a 92, 93 speed. Because he does not, though, guys, he's not able to get 99 deep and 99 medium. You're going to have to pick. Now, personally, I'd probably just complete the medium at that point. But you're going to have to pick between what you want there. Joe Burrow probably isn't the best quarterback in the game because he's an improviser. But had he gotten a power-up, he may have been. 
then literally that's the difference that one power up is going to probably be the difference between making him the best quarterback or at least up there for it and not being one but still a good card nonetheless next you got zach cunningham the guy who seems to always get upgrades and i have no idea why 93 speed 97 excel 86 strength 98 tackle 98 play rec 96 block shed 94 hit power and 80 zone coverage zach cunningham people don't like middle linebackers it is what it is but every team's going to get one so you know one one bad apple is not going to hurt the rest he will get no power up, of course so he's going to get like 95 speed 98 excel -ish. maybe no 95 speed no excel he's gonna get 99 play rec he'll get up to like 86 85 zone block shed's good everything's good on this card but again being a linebacker no one's really gonna care we have mike evans now guys this card's insane mike evans 99 overall can be powered up he will get 99 speed he will get 99 jumping he will get 99 catching he will get 99 catch in traffic 99 spec catch 99 short running 99 medium route running 99 deep route running Guys, this is like the first wide receiver with all 99s. He will have all 99 route running, all 99 catching, all 99 jumping, all 99 speed, and he's like six foot four, six foot five. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And he can be powered up. Guys, this card absolutely insane on a Buccaneers team. I don't even think you need him on a theme team, right? I think he's just he's gonna be 99 regardless of what you do. Now it does come down to after the catch stats, like stiff arm, change direction, all that stuff. But you can't go wrong with Mike Evans. He's he's a beast. He's super tall and he can do all that. He's gonna be a monster. Buda Baker, safety that's actually really good at Madden. 99 overall Buda Baker for the Cardinals can be powered up. He will get 99 speed, 98 excel, 97 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 man, 98 zone, and 97 hit power. Now, I am a little bit upset by the fact that he isn't going to go down and get 989 zone. That is going to hurt him a little bit. The 999 zone, if he had gotten plus one more zone, this card would be a beast. He is a bit on the shorter side. I mean, the card's still going to be good, guys. I mean, 99 safety, you can always use him and do what you want. If you want to use him, guys, he's great because he has the hit power. He has the tackling. He has the play rec. He has the speed. He has everything you want for a user of the pursuit. But personally, in my opinion, the zone's going to hurt him if you want to leave him. If you're going to use him, guys, he's great, but he's not exactly the tallest. Uh, I don't think he's, he's not exactly tiny, but he's not the tallest. You know, you got guys like Simmons and some crazy height. But the zone's going to hurt him if you're going to leave him. Next, guys, we have Travis Kelsey. This is going to be, like, one of the LTDs for the day. I mean, nothing really important. 92 speed at Travis Kelsey. 84 strength, 97 catching, 96 catch in traffic, 96 spec. 96 short, 93 medium. Powered up and counted up, guys. He will get, like, a 96 speed. So, 95, 96 speed, which is actually pretty good for a tight end. For a Travis Kelsey card, he'll be 99. He'll have uh, 99 deep route, 99 short, 99 medium route running. His run blocking could get to 80 if you do want to chem him for his own run. The card's decent overall. And then we have Joe Hayden, guys. Final card here. Only 95 speed. So no 99 um, no 99 speed. But he will get 99 zone. He will get 99 man. He will get 99 press, 99 play rec, 99 jumping. Going to be a good corner. I don't think he's the best corner in the game. Uh, I don't think he's even up there in the top three. Because I wish he had 99 speed. But card's still pretty good. Guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. If you haven't already. Head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off order. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.